Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our first lesson on a given form 3 mathematics topic called commercial arithmetics 2. Now under this topic, we'll be discussing the following subtopics. Uh, the first one is what we call uh, the simple interest, the simple uh, interest, the simple interest. B, we'll also be looking at what we call the compound, the compound uh, interest, the compound interest. After that, we'll look at what we call appreciation, appreciation. Then after that, we'll also focus on what we call depreciation, depreciation. Then of course, we'll look at what we call the higher purchase price, the higher purchase price, the higher purchase price. Then lastly, uh, we'll also be looking at what we call the income tax, the income uh, tax. Under this, we'll be looking at what we call the direct questions and also the uh, reverse taxation or what we call the backward uh, taxation. Now, let's start by looking at the first aspect, which is called the simple interest, abbreviated as SI. Of course, S stands for the simple. Then, of course, I stands for uh, interest. Now, under simple interest, uh, there are some two formulas that you need to note. The first one is uh, the formula for the simple interest which states that the simple uh, interest, the simple interest is always given by, you take the principal, uh, principal, then of course you multiply with uh, the rate, which is always expressed as a percentage, then of course multiplied by uh, the time or the period uh, taken. So this can be written as uh, the principal, the principal, then of course multiplied by, now remember that a percentage means over 100, uh, so the rate can also be written as a uh, rate over 100, uh, over 100 is standing in for the word percentage, then of course multiplied by time. So in terms of abbreviations, we can say that um, at the simple interest, that is uh, SI, is equals to principal times rate times time, then of course uh, divided by 100. Now, the other formula you need to notice the formula for finding the amount, especially uh, when you're dealing with uh, the simple interest. So amount uh, given a simple interest is always given by the principal, uh, principal, then plus uh, the interest, principal plus the interest. This will always give you the uh, amount whenever you're dealing with a simple interest. Then remember that this can also be expressed as um, amount is abbreviated as A is equals to the principal, of course, is P, uh, then, of course, plus uh, the interest. Now, when we're dealing with the simple interest, it means that amount can also be given by uh, the principal, then plus. If we are dealing with the simple interest, of course, this will be P, R, T, uh, then, of course, divided by 100. So these are the two formulas that you always need to note whenever you're dealing with uh, the simple interest. Now let's look at an example uh, of how to find uh, the simple interest. So the example reads that calculate the simple interest and the amount on 16,000 for 1.5 years at a rate of 14% uh, per annum. Remember the word per annum means per year. So um, calculate the simple interest and the amount on 16,000. Of course, this will represent what we call the uh, principal. So we'll say the principal, uh, the principal uh, was uh, Kenya shillings, uh, 16,000. We're given 16,000 as the principal. Then of course, the period is 1.5 years. Then of course, the rate, uh, the rate R is given as 14%. Uh, then you're also given the period, uh, which is the time T, as 1.5 years. Now, for us to get the um, simple interest, we have just said that um, simple interest will be given by uh, the simple interest is equals to uh, PRT, then of course over uh, 100. So this will be given by uh, the principal is given as 16,000, then multiplied by the rate is given as 14%. So, of course, 
a percent means we divide by 100 then multiplied by the period is 1.5 years remember the rate is given as per annum which is which means per year therefore the time also has to be in years of course we are given the time in years if the time was in month we will have converted it to years so that it rhymes with our rate which is in per annum or per year or sometimes we call it uh, annually so uh, this will be given by so of course we are going to have the uh, two zeros cancelling out so we are going to remain with the um, uh, that is uh, i'll have this particular zero uh, removing this decimal uh, point that means we are going to remain with the 16 multiplied by 14 then of course multiplied by uh, 15. so you feed this on the calculator uh, that is uh, 16 by 14 by 15 you'll get uh, kenya shillings uh, 3,360 uh, shillings as our simple interest. Now, the question wanted us to find the simple interest and also the um, amount. Now, we know that um, if we already have the simple interest, we know that amount amount uh, will be given by, you take the principal, uh, principal, then of course you add the uh, interest generated. So the principal plus the interest so because in this case we are dealing with simple interest it means that amount uh, will be given by uh, the principal p then of course plus uh, the simple interest so this will be equal to our principal was uh, 16,000 kenya shillings so we'll have 16,000 uh, then plus our simple interest we found it as 3,360 uh, shillings now if you perform the summation uh, you're gonna get a total of uh, 19,360 19, uh, shillings. So this is the amount that was uh, generated on a principal of 16,000 for 1.5 years at a rate of 14% per year or per annum. Now we check the second example, which reads that calculate the rate uh, of interest if one for four thousand five hundred and uh, five hundred shillings after one point five years. So it means that in this particular case, we are already given the simple interest because they are talking of the rate of the uh, interest. Then of course they want us to find the R. So calculate the rate of interest if four thousand five hundred. It means that this was the our principal. Then the five hundred is the simple interest. Then of course one point five. This one is the uh, period. Now they want us to find the uh, the rate. They want us to get the rate. Now we know that uh, simple interest, uh, the simple interest must be given by uh, the principal multiplied by the rate times time. Then of course divided by a uh, hundred. So that means if I substitute the values, my simple interest is five hundred uh, Kenya shillings, which is equivalent to the principal was four thousand uh, five hundred shillings. Then we are going to multiply with the rate, of course, which is a percentage. So that means I'll divide by uh, 100. Then, of course, uh, I'm going to multiply that with the uh, period T or the time T, which is 1.5 years. So clearly, uh, to make our work easier, the two zeros will cancel out. Huh? So we're going to remain with the 500 uh, being equal to. Uh, so this will be uh 45 so i'm gonna have 45 then of course uh multiplied by so the 45 will multiply with 1.5 then of course uh multiplied by the rate so this is gonna give me a uh, 500 being equal to 45 multiplied by 1.5 you feed that on the calculator you're gonna get 67 uh 0.5 then of course r to get the value of r i'll divide through by 67.5 i also divide this other side by uh, 67.5 so of course the uh, 67.5 on the right hand side the values are gonna cancel out so it means that our rate will be equal to uh, 500 then of course divided by 67.5 now if you feed this on the calculator we're gonna get our rate r uh being equal to seven whole number uh 11 over 
27%. So that is our percentage rate. If we convert this to decimal and uh, approximate to four significant figures, we are going to get uh, 7.407%. This one is correct to four significant uh, figures. Then we also look at our third example, which reads that Juma invested a certain amount of money in a bank which paid one point, uh, that is a 12 percent um, per annum. So, of course, this one is representing our rate, a uh, uh, simple interest after five years. So, this is our period uh, T, his total earnings, that is a uh, total savings, were uh, 5,006. So, of course, in this particular case, 5,600 is representing the total amount. Determine the amount of money invested initially. So, remember the initial investment is what we usually call the uh, principal. So, I'll say let, let the initial investment, let the initial uh, investment or let the amount, let the amount or let the money let the money invested invested uh, initially let the amount of money invested initially be represented by p of course where p is our uh, principal now because we are given the amount then we are told this is simple interest we know that the amount in simple interest is always given by uh, the principal then of course we add the uh, the interest that was uh, charged so it means that amount will be given by the principal then plus uh, because uh, we are told simple interest so the interest is a simple interest uh, so uh, plus the simple interest so i can say that amount is equals to uh, the principal of course which is p uh, then plus uh, the simple interest is given by p r t then of course over 100 so this formula should give us the a total amount that you are dealing with now we are told that the amount uh the total savings uh, amounted to 5600 shillings therefore i'll substitute the values i'll say 5600 shillings uh must be equal to the principal which is the initially invested amount represented by p then plus uh, p which of course is the principal uh, then multiplied by the rate the rate was uh 12 percent then multiplied by uh, the time, which was uh, five years. Then, of course, the rate is a percentage. Therefore, I'll divide this one over uh, 100. So I'm going to have 5,600 being equal to P. Uh, then plus, if you take 12 uh, multiplied by 5, this is going to give me uh, 60. Then, of course, there is still a P. Uh, then I'm going to divide this with 100. So if I compute uh, these particular values, I'm going to get the following. So we are going to have 5,600 uh, shillings being equal to P, then plus uh, the two zeros will cancel out. Then, of course, this would remain at 0 0.6. That is 6 over 10. So I'll have 0 0.6 P. Of course, when a number is written alone, it means the coefficient is 1. Huh? So that means 5,600 shillings will be equal to uh, I'll just add the coefficients since these are like terms. 1p plus 0.6p will be 1, then plus 0.6. Because this can be written as uh, 1 plus 0.6, then of course I factor out the p. So this will be 5,600 shillings being equal to uh, 1 plus 0.6. I'm going to get 1.6p. Then to get the value of uh, p, I'm going to divide through by 1.6. I also divide through by uh, 1.6 so of course these two are gonna cancel out therefore my value of p uh, will be given by 5600 shillings uh, divided by 1.6 if you feed this on the calculator you'll get the value of p uh, being equal to uh, kenya shillings 3500 therefore the amount which was initially invested which of course is the principal uh, the principal uh, invested was equivalent to Kenya shillings, 3,500. Uh, 
Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.